So as a staff, as we approach our third year leading the program here at Seattle U, uh, we're really optimistic about what this team can accomplish. You know, 20 wins, 18 wins, what, what's it going to mean this year? Well, wins, uh, they're going to be real hard to get just because whack, particularly whack road wins uh, are really, really hard to get. And then we scheduled really hard in the, in the non-conference season. But I think we have a chance uh, to be a really, really good team in March just because of our age, our experience. I think that our schedule allows us um, mainly to be ready for the WAC tournament, but also to be for, ready for the rigors of conference play. Um, you know, we're in a one, big, a one bid league, so you want to be really good for three days. Uh, and so you want to have your team peaking at that time. And so putting your, your team up against real quality opponents will show you what they're strong at, what they're weak at. Uh, and, and so I think that that's something we can do. I mean, last year's team rolled through the non-conference and it did show us what we knew. It didn't really give us an opportunity, and maybe that's on me, to, to get into the depth of the, of the team a little bit more because they were so young, but we, we kind of knew what, what it was uh, and enjoyed a great non-conference, whereas I think uh, we can test our depth in, in the rigors of non-conference play this year. There's guys hungry to be on the court because some of them got on the court last year because of all the injuries that happened in the program and, and they want to play and know it's going to be competitive for playing time and I think that pushes the whole uh, group forward. I, I just really feel like this is a, a team where everybody can be a leader, you know. And so I, I really feel like everybody brings the leadership of themselves here every day. And then being a great teammate means not just looking out for yourself, but for others as well. And, and I feel like they do that across the board. And so I, I feel like we do have really good leadership. Now with that said, you've got some guys that have played close to 100 basketball games on the court, like Morgan. Um, you know, Miles is a fifth-year senior. Delonte is a fifth-year senior. Uh, TT uh, has had a lot of experience. Uh, and so we're, we're really encouraged. You know, then you look at guys that will make major uh, contributions like Terrell and Riley, who a year ago were just, okay, so what's this all going to be about? That now know what it is. And so um, that experience, that leadership, that uh, knowing one another, uh, is, is something that can really help us. Although, uh, you know, I think it's five of our uh, first six Division One games are out on the road. So let's 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 hope we show we see some of that. You know, last year we really kind of took a step a different direction and, and weren't shooting as many threes. Uh, and I'd like to see us shoot the ball a little better this year. I think we can. I think we're capable. Um, with that said, we've got some guys that are really good low post players. We have some guys that are really good off the drive. And so it's just making sure that we get really good balance. Uh, I, I just really want each one of these guys to just have an amazing season. And that doesn't just mean statistically and wins and losses, though I want that for them. But, but just that, that my players will be able to get it out of this year just an ultimate team experience to just really enjoy and love being a quality teammate, um, the, the joy and satisfaction of hard work together and realizing goals um, and the bonds that, that can form. You know, every team is different, but just that at the end of the year, the guys are just like, man, that was a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You know, that's, that's what I'm really hoping for this year.